Welcome back. How would you like to go for a ride? The Jacksonville Transportation Authority is launching its first Coast Flyer Red Line on Monday, and they want you to hop on for free. Leanne Rassler is the Public Relations Manager at JTA. Welcome to the show. So thanks for having us today. This is fun. It's exciting. I've lived here 22 years, and we were just talking about this, public transportation in town. I love seeing us add more to it. So let's talk about this. What is the First Coast Flyer? Well, First Coast Flyer is our bus rapid transit um, network. We call it BRT for short. And three years ago, we launched our first line, and that was the Green Line. And that's going out on um, the north side via Lim Turner up to 295 at our Armsdale Park and Ride. And then two years ago, we launched the Blue Line, which goes out Phillips Highway to the Avenues. Okay. So starting next week, we'll actually extend that a little further to our brand new park and ride called the Avenues Walk. And that's just across from the Avenues Mall next to the Walmart. So that'll open and be available for service from there as well. Nice. You can drive to their park and you can shoot downtown. Yeah, definitely. So on the First Coast Flyer system, we have park and ride lots so people can actually park their cars and they can get on the flyer and they can quickly go across town wherever they need to go. So currently we have 20.5 miles of the First Coast Flyer system. And when we launch our red line next week, we're going to add an additional 18.5 miles. And people might say, well, what's the difference? you know, with First Coast Flyer versus a regular bus. Well, it's higher frequency. It comes more often every 10 minutes during rush hour oh, and nice. 15 minutes during the rest of the day and on weekends about every 30 minutes. But it doesn't stop as often as a regular bus because the whole purpose is to get you where you need to go much quicker. It also has the capability of holding the green light with something called transit signal priority. So if the bus is coming up on a green, it'll hold it, let that bus keep traveling through. So, hey, if you're in a car, get behind the bus because it's going to take you through that green light. Oh, wow. Don't get too close, though. Yeah, don't get um, too close. All right. So you talked about how many lines you have. The, the red line, this one I'm excited. I used to live at the beach. Now I live uh, in Springfield. So I'm excited about this to get out to the beach. The red line is going to go, which, which, which uh, road is that going to go down? Okay. So the red line is going to leave from our Rosa Parks Transit Station, okay. downtown Jacksonville State and Union. And it's going to follow um, Union out over the Matthews Bridge along Arlington Expressway mm -hmm. to Regency. Right. And there at our Regency Transit Hub, it's going to go south on Southside Boulevard, connect to Beach, and then it's going to go straight out Beach Boulevard all the way to the beaches. Because there's other, there's other lines you have that aren't flyers that go those routes, but this one you're saying has very minimal stops to get all the way out there. And you said, it, it, how long do you think the commute is? Um, correct. It has minimal stops. Um, the commute's going to be probably just a little bit less than if you were going to drive it yourself. Right. Um, but it certainly be a lot less than if you were riding on one of the fixed routes because it's not going to be stopping as often. Um, when it comes to the flyer, um, again, that it's got that peak service. Some other things that I want to really emphasize is you're riding on a compressed natural gas bus, so it's environmentally friendly. It's a quieter bus. Love that. We also offer complimentary Wi-Fi on our, all of our buses now. Get your work done you as can. you're going downtown I mean, downtown that, to work. that is the selling point to me. If I was living out at the beach, I would certainly want to get on the flyer where I could stay connected. I could do some emails, yeah. read, what have you and you know not worry about the stress of being mm -hmm. in that traffic that stop and go um, you know it's just great and we have our my jta ticketing app you can you know purchase your fare that way we have next bus which tells you when it's coming and something else great about the new buses we're going to use on the red line is they're going to have these onboard monitors that have the news the weather some other information and that's something that the current flyer bus doesn't have so we're really excited about adding that feature as well this is exciting you also have a uh, the nassau express select Yes, that's going to be a new service we're launching on going? Monday, too. That one's going to go from Yuli. It's um, up there, um, right there um, in, I think it's called, called the Lofton Square Shopping Center. Okay. Right there at Yuli, there's an AMC and a Winn-Dixie, yeah. and across the street, there's some more shopping areas. And it's going to go straight service nonstop down to the Rosa Parks Transit Station in downtown. Because oh, wow. there's a lot of people, yeah. you know, living in Nassau County that are commuting every day, and they, they've been asking for this type of service. And so that's a brand new service we're offering them. It's a Monday through Friday service um, to get the workers downtown and back. That is good stuff. I love it. Adding more stuff. What about Ready Ride? What's this? Ready Ride is really interesting. Ready Ride is one of our new alternative service delivery options. And we like to think of it as a first and last mile service. Um, I give myself as an example, I live about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 miles away from a bus stop. And so if you use our new Ready Ride service and you're in a zone, because it's in five, going to be in five zones throughout the city, um, you can contact um, Ready Ride, um, the Owl Inc., it's our operator, 
and reserve that ride. They'll come pick you up. And here's a great thing. If you're just going to the bus to catch the, the regular route, it's only 50 cents. But if you want to like travel around in that zone, it's only $2. So this. it's a lot less than a taxi. Um, and it's operated through a contractor, you know, that, that we have hired. So they have to go through all the safety, security and everything. Great stuff. Just like JTA. So it's really great and it's a, an affordable way to do it. So pumped. Been here 22 years. I love seeing the improvements you guys are making. Thanks for being here. So thanks for having us. We, uh, we appreciate the time and special thanks to Jacksonville Transportation Authority for sponsoring this segment. And for more information, you can visit JTAFLA.com or call 904 Six three zero three one zero zero. Remember, you can take a free ride on the First Coast Flyer December third through the ninth.